Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. So today we are going to talk about our 10th class, uh, first unit, personality development. In that first lesson we are going to discuss in this class. So try to uh, keep concentration and we are going to uh, the class. So before getting into the first lesson, let us discuss about the topic of first unit that is personality development. <coughs> what is the meaning of personality? So normally the word personality is derived from the Greek word or the Latin word uh, persona. Persona means a mask. So every person have the different different marks means for example if you are in the school we will act like something. If you are at home we will act something. So wherever we have, we have different different personalities, different different masks. So the personality means to study about one's abilities, one's character. If you search the meaning of personality in our dictionaries, we will get one word that is all the qualities, all the qualities of a person to make into a distinctive character. Means mixing of all to make one. If you take an atom in our chemistry, mixing of many molecules will make one atom. The same like that, mixing of all our characters, our abilities, our feelings will make us to become one personality, that is our inner character. So personality development is our first unit to develop our inner potentiality, to know about ourselves. So in this lesson, first lesson, we have attitude is altitude. So what is the meaning of attitude? Attitude is nothing but the way we behave, the way we talk, the way we approach towards others is called our attitude. And our own attitude will make us to become high means altitude. Altitude means high position or the peak of something from the sea level means your own attitude will make you to reach high in this world. So how we can make our attitude to make ourselves great in the society? So what makes a person extraordinary? What makes a person great in this world? Either the money, the status, or their richness, or their abilities, or talents, or simply we can call a smile. What makes a person extraordinary in this world? So that we are going to get solution for this question from this lesson, attitude is altitude. We have a great personality here to discuss and we can more and more inspirable lessons we have in this unit. So first one, uh, normally if you look at our textbook we have the first lines when you get up in the morning to free from the laziness every person will do one thing that is uh, stretching arms yes or no everybody want to free from their laziness when you got up in the morning uh, simply even I was elder now when I was walking on the road if I fall into small pebbles or any coke things simply I want to kick them so that my uh, that was everyone's habit imagine that you woke up in the morning, you don't have arms, how you can feel relaxed, how you can free from our laziness. Imagine you don't have legs, you're walking on the road, someone has hitting the pebbles and playing with the coke teams. How we can feel? Really, we will be very, very upset and disappointed at the time. The same person, a one person here, he was born without arms and limbs. We call him as torso. A person without arms and limbs we call as torso. Even he was a torso. How he became an extraordinary person? How he became a familiar person in this world? We are going to know that from our lesson attitude is attitude. <clears throat> so let us begin our lesson. So he was an young man and he was now become a world famous motivational speaker. He not only speaker, he swims, he surfs, and he loves to play football. He was a lover of football. And he is none other than Nick Whitechurch. 
he was born and brought up in Australia and he was migrated to all people. Everybody in the world knows Nick White. Why? Because of his speeches. So what are his speeches? What made him to give such a great inspirational speeches means nothing but his life. He is only sharing his own personal experiences. He knew his inner potentiality. So what is here his real personality? What was his real character? He come to know that so that he became a great personality. So now, now let us look at our textbooks and we can go for a explaining some important uh, lines I want to read from the textbook so let us look at them so Nick has a small foot on his left hip which helps him to balance and enables him to kick so he calls him that as chicken drumstick he has small toe in his left uh, leg small one you can see in the video so that was uh, it was very very helpful for him to walk and to play and to kick something as like I, we discussed to kick the pebbles on the roads, he was enjoying with that small toe. He called him that as chicken a drumstick. And the number one character, so we can come to know the characters of Nick Vujicic. First one is, he was an evangelist or evangelical Christian, the word mentioned in the textbook. So what is the meaning of evangelist? So the role of an evangelist, for example, uh, myself me a teacher you are students so every have everybody have designations so he is a evangelist an evangelist means a person who proclaims a good news a gospel to the world we call him as evangelist means we can normally a christian people will use the word evangelist means the word evangelist uh, refers to christian so he was a christian not all a christian he was an evangelist person means he was proclaiming the good news to the world so that is the number one character and from that he learned one important thing that is virgin <coughs> until his marriage he want to become he want to be as a virgin means he don't want to go for any other abigation which are tempting him to do many such a wrong relationship because he was a great person in the world normally if you look at a personality greatest personality in the world they will have more fans following so i like nick nick also got many fans following so many people proposed him for the marriages, for the dating, for many things. But he want to become a virgin. Why? Because he his religion taught him to be a virgin. So many people will have different navigations before marriages. So my sincere suggestion for you that is every child is a precious for the family. For your father, for your mother, you are very, very valuable, uh, very, very precious. So be careful of yourself, be safe and be secure and save your life and don't lose your dignity because Nick is saying to us that before, until marriage, I want to be like a virgin. So that was very, very important character and point we want to keep in our mind. So let us uh, go for next one <coughs> about our Nick where you see. Watch it. <coughs> yes. Let us go for his born and brought up. So he was born and normally his mother was a nurse. She knows very well how to take care of a baby which was in the uh, womb and how to take care of health and how to take a good uh, healthy diet and everything she knows very well. But such an unexpected thing happened at the time of delivery. What happened, you know? She got delivered and the nurse said that you got a boy baby. She was very, very happy and just she turned her head and saw the baby. And the baby was born without arms and limbs. It was such an unexpected thing. She was astonished. At the time, not astonished, not surprised. She was shocked, terribly shocked. At the time, father with a great enthusiasm, with a great happiness, he came to see this, uh, his son. When he came to see the son, he saw and he went out of the ward. Why? Because he was ready to vomit. He was unable to digest. Why I was bought, I was, my wife given to such an abnormal child. So that was a great uh, uh, disaster or a great uh, disappointment for the parents. And such a great important thing I want to share here, uh, even the mother, 
until four months, she was not interested to hold the baby into our own hands. Own mother, distorted mother, was unable to hold the baby, the boy, Nick, until four months because she was totally disappointed. So next, uh, later they come to know one important thing that is, many people were being born in this world and surviving. God has separate purpose in my son's life. For that, he was born like that. So here I want to remember one point that is, everybody has a unique talent. You are not similar. Look at our hand, our fingers, our fingerprints are not similar. So everybody who was born in this world are unique. You have your special talent, special purpose because you are a unique person in the world. So that they knew, the father and mother come to know that yes, my son has special purpose. Father told me God has given me such an abnormal child. So then they decided to do one thing that is they want him to taught different education. That is, they want to make him a great person in the world. So that was a great decision which was decided by our Nick Vajic father and mother. So what they did, let us look at our textbooks and uh, look at that. So uh, in the, at the age of 18 months, 18 months, Nick Vajic is saying these words. When I was 18 months, my father took me and thrown me in the swimming pool. When I read the word that uh, we can feel that maybe the father was ready to make him to death. But it is not the willing of father. The will of father is to make 18 months baby, uh, the 18 months boy to learn swimming. Such a great decision that we have to know here. 18 months baby. Now I was 26 Still, I don't know how to swim. But here, Anik Vajic, he is 18 months old. Father is training him to learn swimming. Such a great decision which was taken by the father. Not only that, at the age of 6 years old, at the age of 6 years, 6 years, he learned how to type with his small chicken drumstick don't forget the word chicken drumstick at the age of six years old he started uh, typing with uh, his chicken drumsticks not only that mother uh, mother made a separate device to hold uh, the pen or pencil and to write and to learn writing so that was a great uh, decision which made by nick vajic father and mother and not only that, let us look at some more points. So when he was ready to join the school, if you normally for blind, for day, for dumb, for many people, we have sub, uh, special education centers. But Nick Vajic's father, mother, not decided to send him to special education school. Why? Because if we go there, he will have the same quality of people without arms, without legs, some people will be there. So physically challenged education. So that he, they have not decided him to send there. Why? Because if we send the, him there, he will be escorted by some people. Means someone will help him to learn writing or something. So that is not our will. We want to make our son to be independent. Not to depend upon any persons. So for that, they started sending him to normal school. Normal school. So normal school means all the people will have arms and legs. They will play. They will jump. They will do all the things. By seeing them, Nick will get disappointment. From the disappointment, he will get more encouragement. So that was the intention of father of Nick Vajic and mother of Nick Vajic. So they sent him to common school. There he was believed. He was teased by many people, many people. So he was totally bullied, means teased and uh, many people commented, hey, you don't have arms, you don't have legs, you can't play like me, you can't jump like me, you can't walk like me, you can't play like me. So many people teased him <coughs> like anything. So he was totally disappointed. He was totally disappointed and depressed. He went to mother at the age of eight years and said, Mommy, Mommy, 
I was really up disappointed. I am terribly, horribly teased by my friends. So I don't want to live in this world. Please, mummy. So he went and asked to God and saying that why I was born like this. God, why I was born like this? Why this was happened to me all? Many people were in this world. Why you given me such a, uh, a disability to mine? So he asked God and prayed. And later, at the age of 10 years, he was totally disappointed. And he wanted to... What happened, you know? At the age of 10 years, he wanted to commit suicide. <coughs> he went. And he went to the bathroom tab. And he drowned himself. But... His attempt was unsuccessful. Do you know why? At the age of 13 months, he learned swimming. So how he can die in the water? It was impossible. That made him to get, yes, I learned swimming. Why can't I do all the things what people were doing? So he came out from the bathing tub and he decided to live for himself. And he wanted to know all the abilities and he came to know his inner potentiality. Later, a great uh, inspirational story was read by him at the age of 13 when he was reading a news article about a same disability person who inspired the world and helping many people in the world who are having the same qualities, means disabilities. So that made him to encourage him more and more and decided. Later, I decided, and Nick was saying these words, I decided decided to be thankful for what I do have, not to get angry about what I don't. So such a great positive vibe. He said that I don't want to worry about what I don't have. I am very, very happy because I have something in my life. So that made him to better, more inspired. And later he started his journey towards inspiring the world. And he written many books like a Man Without Arms and Limb. So such a great person started his career and moving to the world and saying that simply one word that I am not worrying about what I don't have. But I am very happy about what I have. The world inspired many people in the world. So such a uh, humorous instance we have here in our textbook. Let us look at them. So when he was uh, traveling in the ta car, uh, just he was <coughs> stopped by this traffic signal. At the time, our one girl was looking at him and he looked at her, uh, both locked each other and later the one uh, uh, great incident happened. He did something terrible, strange thing. What did you know? He did 360 degrees spin. Uh, is it possible to do 360 degrees if a common person sits on a chair or a car? It is impossible, but he did. Then after seeing that scene, immediately that woman who was looking at Nick Vajis, she ran away from it because he has such a humorous things. So later, he became a great person. Along with that, he learned the surfing uh, from and a woman. Uh, he has, uh, her name is called Bethany Hamilton. Why he went to learn swimming uh, surfing from Bathany means if you look at her life, she was uh, bitten off by a shark at the age of 12 years. Uh, if you look at uh, YouTube, you can get the videos of uh, uh, Bathany Hamilton. Uh, her hand was bitten off by a shark at the age of 12, even though she never stopped her uh, excitement of teaching surfing. She became a surfing master and still she was uh, reaching many goals in her life. So that story inspired him. So he went to Hamilton and asked her to teach surfing. So she taught her uh, him surfing and he become a great uh, surfing master now. You can see in the video also. So let us uh, look at some important uh, life of Dick Wajic. Uh, he knows uh, how to play golf, how to play football. He is a lover of football. I said English Premier League. And he loved to swim, he loved to surf, and he loves to do diving, scuba diving, and many things he loved to do, all the things, because if you look at his life, a common person can't do all the things what Nick was doing now. As a common person now, I don't know how to swim, but Nick is swimming. 
I don't know how to do surfing, but he was doing. So what a common person can do, he's doing now. So that was a great, he knew his inner personality. He knew about himself. He come to know that I'm not worrying about what I don't have. What I have, uh, I am very happy for that. So he was saying one more important word for the listeners now. That is, if I fail, I try again and again and again. If you fail, are you going to try again? Listeners, the word which was given by Nick Vujicic, saying that if I fail, I'm trying. I tried again. I tried again. I tried again, and I succeeded. I don't know how to surf, but many times when I wanted to uh, surfing, I drowned into water. But I know swimming, so I came up, and again I started learning, 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 practicing. So I tried, tried, tried. Even a file, I. Finally, I got success. Are you trying again? Children, those who are watching this video, recently one hap incident happened about a, about a Bollywood actor who acted in the store biopic of uh, Ms. Dhoni, an untold story, Sushant Rajput. He was unable to control all his feelings. And finally, he committed suicide. But not Nick. He was disappointed. He was bullied. He was teased many, many times. But he never stepped back because he knew the purpose of his life. If you know the purpose of your life, if you know about yourself, come to know your inner potentiality. Know yourself. Understand yourself. Learn yourself. Understand your abilities. What makes you great? So Nick is saying that I am not worrying about what I don't have. I am happy what I have. So keep that point in your mind. So be happy what you have. Don't compare. Ever and never compare with any person because you are unique. Some people, some children will compare in the school or the classes that uh, who are reading well, I am not reading well, I am not having good handwriting. So don't compare. Try to learn yourself. Know your potentiality. Know yourself. So what is your real character? So what are your real possibilities? What are your real attitudes? What are your real, real inner potentiality? Come to know that. Sit silently. Come to know, yes, what is my greatness? So what are my secrets? So what are my personalities? What are my greatness? So try to know yourself. Then you don't need to worry about anything. So Nick Weich's life is a great inspirational story for us. A man without arms, a man without limbs, became a great person in this world because of his attitudes only because of his attitudes so my dear children who are watching this lesson don't worry about all the things your attitude will make you to reach a great high position in this world so know yourself leave all the negative attitudes all the past things know your positive things and concentrate on them what Nick said I am not worrying about what I don't have what I have, I am only concentrating on it. So concentrate on all the things what you have. So never and never come back. You are a special person, you have special talent, you are, you are unique. You are unique. You are not similar to anyone. So if you have any doubts, any queries, please comment. And please don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thank you and we will be back into the next lesson. Thank you. Have a great day.